Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing Thai visa extensions. For those who are unaware of folks that come into Thailand on what's called a non-immigrant visa, which is going to be the vast majority of folks that live in Thailand. So non-immigrant business visa, non-immigrant O visa, non-immigrant ED, education visa, non-immigrant retirement visa, or even the OA, although the OA is a little different. I'll get into that in a minute. But sort of standard non-immigrant visas, you're going to have to extend status. Generally speaking, these types of non-immigrant visas are issued with a 90-day validity, and then you're going to have to extend your status. Now, in most cases, and let's go ahead and talk retirement visas real quick first. One, the OA retirement visa, that's not really pertinent to this video. That, that's its own sort of standalone status that's granted at an embassy or consulate abroad. And then when it is time to go ahead and renew here in Thailand, Yes, there, there is a renewal process, but like the O retirement visa, generally speaking, the review period of one month does not occur. It, it mostly is just folks come in and usually on the same day are able, or within a couple of days, depending on if they have their ducks in a row, are able to get sorted out sort of in one sit down. With regard to, for example, in all cases that we ever deal with, Thai B visas, you've got to go through a one month review period. Thai O marriage visas are also a category we see this a lot in where there's a one month review period. And in the case of Thai O marriage visas, we have many clients who've actually seen Thai immigration show up at their house, actually want to see their abode, want to see that they're living together with their spouse. As we discussed in prior videos, there was an issue involving sham marriages some years back, which had implications in the Thai O BC unit associated with marriage. And it's resulted in some pretty heavy scrutiny associated with adjudication during the review period. Meanwhile, the Thai B visa is oftentimes the subject of further scrutiny during the review period. We oftentimes see our clients inspected. Sometimes the clients don't even know it's happened because the immigration officer just wants to see the office and oftentimes we can assist them, but oftentimes they also want to see the person in their office or whatever. There are a number of different there are a number of different scenarios we deal with in a B visa context where an inspection either is warranted or occurs. Not to mention the fact that in a business visa context associated with a work permit, there's also inspection issues associated with the Department of, of Employment under the Labor Ministry here in Thailand. So the thing to take away from this video and the thing to understand is that, look, at the end of the day, there is a review period for most non-immigrant visa extensions. And that review period may result in scrutiny during that time period. So again, you're going to want to have your ducks in a row. And the thing to take away from this video is be prepared to deal with that review period. And in certain circumstances, especially with some of the more complex non-immigrant visas, notably O marriage or business visa, may not be a terrible idea to contact a legal professional, gain some insight and guidance into how best to proceed.